Do you spend a lot of time thinking about Christmas? I know maybe that seems like a strange question to, to think about on December 25th, on Christmas night, as we're surrounded by piles of, of scraps of wrapping paper and Tupperware containers filled with leftovers from Christmas dinner and wonderful memories, God willing, of a Christmas worship floating around in our heart and mind. We celebrate Christmas, but Christmas isn't just something to celebrate. It's something to think about. There's a, a long tradition in the Christian church that we don't observe so much here in America, but I'm sure you know the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. Well, for about 1,500 years, Christians have made a point of celebrating the miracle of Christmas for 12 days. They would use those 12 days to spend time in God's word. They would make an extra effort for, to care for people in need. They would keep giving each other gifts. They kept thinking about what that miracle meant that God became man and, and is now part of our lives. So for these next 12 days of Christmas, I will be posting short video devotions like this online. There'll be just a few thoughts, a reading from scripture. Our first one tonight comes from that first Christmas night where Mary sets a wonderful example for us. God's promise had come true. She gave birth to the Son of God that God had been promising for ages. Shepherds came to see the miracle, telling of the angels that appeared to them in the skies over Bethlehem. And Mary... She treasured all those things up and pondered them. She thought about it. She set aside time to think about what it really meant that there in her arms, in flesh and blood, was the proof that God's love is real and that it really was for her and a part of her life. God bless you over these next 12 days as you think about that. The Word of God recorded in Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. The Word of God. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.